I study the um, relationship between what the eye offers up and what the mind is expecting. Vision is always some interaction between what's currently on view, what, what's, what's there sort of as a, as a smorgasbord, and uh, what's relevant to me as a, as a viewer. We try and do experiments where we uh, vary the uh, kind of conceptual knowledge that people bring to the, uh, the picture in their viewing, or we vary what's on offer for the eye. And uh, there are many sort of interesting visual illusions and, and effects that involve this interaction between what's on view and what I'm expecting to see. This is a, a test for something that's now become uh, known as change blindness. Subject would sit down in, in front of a computer and we'd tell them there's going to be something that uh, differs between these two pictures that are going to be flickering. Sometimes it takes them 15 to 20 seconds and then they uh, get this aha experience of, oh, there's that large hedge behind the, uh, the Sphinx's head that's coming into view and disappearing. We're involved in a very large number of projects, but all of them are working in one way or another on this problem of attention. The, the, the problem is uh, of the visual information that's being presented to, to a viewer at any moment in time, uh, what's the basis for deciding which information to inspect, which information to give more scrutiny, which information to ignore. Currently, the thing I'm most excited about is studying the unconscious parts of the, of the visual brain. And so it's a very fascinating system to study. And uh, we, we study that in the lab by having people do simple tasks like pointing and reaching while they're engaged in other tasks like recognizing objects. We often talk about that uh, sort of unconscious visual system loosely as the, as the zombie within. The conscious system is so slow, and so uh, to be able to control the zombie in the moment is a very difficult thing to do. But if you train it well, it'll run through its paces and do its job just like you and I do when we drive home from work every day and don't realize that, you know, where we've been.